In Lincoln, COVID hospitalizations continue to drop, but doctors are still stretched pretty thin with other patients. This as there's a new COVID variant that appears to infect people more easily. 10 11 now's Madison Pitch has more on what you need to know. Kelsey, the variant is called XBB 1.5. It's from the Omicron variant, and the CDC estimates that last week it accounted for nearly 50% of all COVID cases across the U.S. Today, we heard from an expert from CHI Health about this latest strain. Dr. Renuga Vivekanandan expects this new Omicron variant, XBB 1.5, will be circulating throughout the state for the next four to six weeks. Omicron variant itself compared to the other variants were more infectious, and this variant also seems more infectious. But thankfully, um, as far as hospitalization and severe illnesses, are still staying steady. Recent data from DHHS shows about a 10% positivity rate. Dr. Vivekanandan says the symptoms from this variant include fevers, chills, runny noses, cough or shortness of breath, and fatigue similar to other variants. Latest numbers from Bryan Health show they're caring for 15 COVID patients today. They tell me their COVID patients usually number between 15 and 30. And as far as hospital capacity, they're hovering between 550 to 580 patients a day. Bryan Health says in the last year, their emergency departments cared for over 96,000 patients, which is an all-time high. Dr. Vivekanandan says COVID and these variant evolutions are likely here to stay, but there is hope in fighting off surges of new cases. We have the tools. Even if the virus is mutating, the vaccines that we have are effective in preventing infection in most individuals and preventing severe infection. She says data shows booster rates are low, so increasing the level of vaccination is the best bet in protecting against infection. We know what to do in Nebraska. We have done a great job. We could continue to do a great job. I just think there's really a big opportunity to get the vaccine and the bivalent vaccine that is available for COVID-19. Dr. Vivekanandan says RSV and flu numbers are both dropping here in Nebraska, but says those cases are still happening. She says if you feel sick, you should test to determine what type of respiratory illness you may have.